but without any charges, he could be released soon. Meanwhile, police are still calling her husband a person of interest in the crime. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us now live from Gross Point Park. Now, Kim, where does the investigation stand this morning? There are a lot of questions this morning, Alicia. One has to do with this, a 72-hour time uh, timer that started when Joe Gens was arrested. The question is, when did it literally start? Now, Joe Gens is the man who's been in custody since Tuesday. That's when he walked into the police department at 4 a.m. and allegedly told police that he was an accomplice to murder. Now, the Gross Point Park Police tell us that he is still here at the jail. Police are allowed to hold someone for 72 hours or else they have to either charge the person or release them. He has not been charged. The question is whether he was arrested right when he walked into the police department Tuesday morning or sometime later. Police may argue that he was there voluntarily for some time, that he was not officially arrested. So we do not know when the clock started, when he will be either released or charged. Meantime, Bob Bashero remains a person of interest as police investigate his wife's murder. They are looking into his personal life. Sources say Joe Gent said Bashera took part in the murder. Bob Bashera's attorney insists Gent is not credible. And one of the later stories is that uh, uh, he killed, Joe killed Jane Bashara while Bob Bashara held a gun to his head. How much sense does that make? I mean, that would be the most bizarre killing of all time. It, it, his stories keep getting worse. Meantime, we told you that last week, sources told us that Bob Bashara failed a polygraph test given by the Gross Point Park police. Now, Bashara's attorney says that another polygraph test has been given and that B Bashara passed it, that the test proved he had nothing to do with his wife's death. Police, though, say they had nothing to do with that test. It must have been an independent one. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you any information as it unfolds, any charges that could come today in Gross Point Park. Live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.